when I was younger, um, we lived right by the Brookfield Zoo in Illinois. So my mom was a season pass holder and would take me and my brother to the zoo almost every day. So she saw my face light up and actually I love telling this story. Um, in fifth grade, I, I, you know, there's career day and everyone shows up as a fireman or as a nurse. Well, I wanted to be a shark trainer, so I brought a stuffed animal shark to school, and I actually still talk to my teacher this, this day and tell her, like, I'm at SeaWorld now, I really did it. Like, so, yeah, that's, um, I always knew I wanted to work in aquariums. I started my career at SeaWorld in high school, so I was a camper in San Antonio for two years, and then I went on and became a camp counselor in Orlando. So if I see that spark in, in a kid, I try to ask them, like, is this something that you could see yourself doing, and tell them if they want to work with animals, they should volunteer at a local humane society or go to SeaWorld camp. Even a sleepover, as sleepovers, they lay right here and have the sharks swimming around them all night. They can connect with them here and seeing the animals and, and knowing that they're not vicious man-eaters and learning facts about them. And then they can go and take that and do some research at home or go and see the uh, snorkel in the ocean and see them and be like, I saw that at SeaWorld. I know, I know what it is. It's a, it's a white tip reef shark or something like that. So they're inspired to go out there. And if they see these animals and connect with them today, then I know they'll be able to help the ocean somehow in the future. This next generation is really going to be a good generation to change what's happening in the oceans today. Mm -hmm.